rod shop in Denver, North Carolina. This is our 1970 FJ40. This truck's been on the California Trail, the Oregon Trail, the Mormon Trail. We've also done the Transamerica Trail and the Continental Divide from uh, Canada all the way down to Antelope Wells, New Mexico, and up to SEMA. So that's one of the things that we've done with this truck. It's been a corporate marketing program for SEMA for the last four years. And so through that, we kind of learned what we needed and what we didn't need in a truck. The first year we took everything, including the kitchen sink, and this year we narrowed it down to everything we needed in four ammo cans. So, you know, that's where we're at. So what we decided, we wanted a truck that was unique, a little different. I've always had an affection auto for the FJ40s. In fact, I wanted one when I was in high school. My dad said it was a stupid truck because you couldn't haul anything in it, so I ended up with a Toyota two-wheel drive pickup truck to haul fence posts. But when we first built this truck, we wanted it to articulate very well because you never know on an expedition where you're going to end up. Now, the truck's completely overbuilt for 90% of the stuff we've done, but what we got is rough stuff housings. The inside those housings is Aussie lockers, East Coast gears, 411s, RCB 300M axles, and then rough stuff also makes the Hellfire knuckle, which are FJ80 pieces and knuckles on the outside. So it's got all that, and then uh, Kurt from Cruiser Outfitters got the Pro Molly lock and hubs, the ass and hubs, and then everything on the truck we built. The, it's three link front and a four link rear with fab tech, custom Fabtech coilover canister shocks that packed racing, they bowed them, did all that stuff for us. Under the hood is a 350 Chevrolet, basically stock Rochester carburetor. The reason we didn't fuel inject it or do anything else is you got to be able to fix it in an AutoZone parking lot. You're not going to find an ECU in the middle of Wyoming. So it's a real simple truck and that was the whole deal is we designed it to fix it anywhere if it broke and fortunately we've really never had to fix it. So. We haven't had to test out that theory. Then we, we run the Aturo 37 inch uh, Trailblade Boss tires. Real good partners ours on the Ultra the 10 inch bead locks. Insides all, we gutted everything on the inside. AP pedal system, AP master cylinders. We made our own gas pedals. The dashboard is all made in house. There's no fuses in this truck. Everything's on a time breaker, so it'll if you if you click a breaker, you don't have to chase a fuse. It clicks off, cools down, comes right back on. Real, really easy. And then there's a hot wire that you can go around it if you have a problem. We've we've never had a problem, but all this basically your radiator fan, start ignition, all your all your overhead lights, all right here, wiper, turn signals, and then the air compressors over here gauge reset button all electrical gauges if you get a gauge that's not acting right you can hit that it resets the gauges so you know if you got an engine problem or a gauge problem we did all the cages done in house we had to maximize basically every square inch of this thing so we live in it 30 days at a time the shortest trip this truck's ever been on has been about 5600 miles I had this truck about 15 years. We drug it out of a field in Oregon. It was bone stock and we ran it for a while and had fun with it. And then when we decided to start doing the SEMA projects, we, we had to come up with something unique. I have a 39 Ford land speed truck, 200 mile an hour truck that we run. I wanted them to match. So what we did is we blast the body, wipe it all down with vinegar, use hydrogen peroxide, salt, sea salt, and a water solution and gently spray it on there and then use a shower head that we built to simulate rain. It lets it, it gives it the grain, the natural grain finish to it. And then at that point we let it sit for about a month. <coughs> and then we scotch bright it with gray scotch bright, real gentle with water. And once we get the finish we like, we'll matte clear it and call it a day. Yeah.